Hello, kit heads. We are talking kit, the home of the greatest football kit content made for football kit fanatics by football kit fanatics. And this is the second episode of our brand new series, Desert Island Kits. I'll tell you again, if you haven't seen it already, if you watched any of the main podcasts or listened to the main podcast, whenever we had a guest, we had a feature called Desert Island Kits, where we just asked our guests to pick a home shirt and away shirt or a third slash um, wildcard shirt that they would take to a desert island with them. But we thought, because the main pod is now finished, we thought we'd do a little um, a little series, take that feature and make it its own series on the channel. But we've changed it a little bit. Instead of asking for a home and away or third slash uh, wildcard, we're going to sit down with football shirt collectors and ask them to try and pick five shirts from their collection that they would take away to a desert island if they were to be stranded so yeah that's the series and yeah we're in the second episode and i'm buzzing to be joined by what is he's becoming another friend of the channel been on full kit rankers it's sam aka sh shirts how is everything how are you doing yeah really good mate really really well um yeah like i said to you before the pods like living in london's great uh bloody expensive <laughs> but <laughs> we are but we're getting there, and I've got a bit less money to spend on shirts now. So to put it down to five, that was quite easy for me because I've got a lot. I've got <laughs> quite a lot less now than I used to have. Um, yeah. But it was it was difficult to put it down to five, um, but easier than it would have been a couple of back in lockdown when I think a lot of us seem to have loads and loads and loads of shirts, right? And I was kind of yeah. kind of whittling down a collection a bit now. Um, so, but yeah, I've chosen five, and I'm very happy with them, and I can't wait to show you, tell you why uh, I'll bring these on a desert island with me. Yeah, that's it, mate. And I'm, I'm the exact same, you know. I've got a seven month old. Um, let's just say I've stopped buying so many shirts. I think <laughs> yeah. I, I try. I'm trying to think the last shirts I bought, and I think I think it was during. Do you remember when CFS had their birthday sale thing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I bought. I bought my dad a. I, think I bought this in that actually. I bought my dad a 2002, 2003 away United away shirt with Veron on the back. Oh, lovely. One of the, yeah. One of his favorite players, and I bought myself a Porto shirt and a T90 Brazil training top for mm -hmm. the for the World Cup. Um, and I think I think I very very rarely buy now. It's like yeah, it's, it's one of them things. And I think from lockdown, I don't know if it's in your, your experience. I think with lockdown, like you said, there was so many deals, there was so many great bargains to be had. I think everyone kind of had that scattergun approach of just bang bang bang. I'll just get whatever I like. And I think now you you are noticing a, a real shift, I feel, in the community where everyone's kind of whittling down and really focusing on a type of shirt that they want. For, for instance, myself is Brazil, um, Barcelona, and now I'm, I'm adding even more thinking, you know, R9 shirts as well, apart from Real Madrid, because I don't like mm. Real Madrid. But do you feel like you're similar to that in, in, in whittling down and focusing yeah. on a type of shirt? Definitely. I think, yeah, so when it was lockdown, like you said, I seem to be getting delivery every couple of days and my dad was just like what's going on like what, what is this um but yeah and like you said it was more about like oh can i get this for a good deal do i like it mm, i like it a bit but you know these days i would only get a shirt now if i really really like it and again i have to take out a second mortgage <laughs> so <laughs> like <laughs> but um yeah it is i'm being way more selective and i think that is definitely the shift in the the culture at the moment mate. yeah totally yeah, absolutely. Right, right. So at the moment, then, uh, what's what's your uh, your body count? The magic number? Uh, body, uh, your... so it's definitely a lot less. Cause I have been selling quite a lot, so I'm probably only around the probably around seventy now, seventy five, oh. something like that. So it used to be nearly two hundred, but that's wow. it's definitely been whittled down because you kind of trim the fat a bit, <laughs> and you need to get uh, yeah, try and get a bit more money coming through the door. So you do try and sell because I was, there was I had like a whole, I basically had like a holy sort of thirty that I would never sell, yeah. but that's gone down to about well nearly five. Hence the picture. So, um, but yeah, around seventy, seventy-five, something like that. Amazing, amazing. I, I think I'm the same same number as you to be honest, yeah. mate. And yeah. even even then, I'm I'm starting to really trim trim down. I I picked a couple. I see. I don't sell. You see, but mm. I feel like I, there's nowhere else for me to to get rid of him other than to start maybe selling them. Um, and even then I was struggling. I've got, I think I've got eight just, just over there. And I'm, even that was like, Oh, do I want to sell? Do I yeah. want to sell that? But is it, it's, really it, 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 it'll, have to go even, <laughs> it'll have to go down even more. And that's, yeah. that's how I feel it's, it's probably going to go. So with, with your, with your five that yeah. you've picked, how, how hard was it to whittle it down? Yeah. It took me, 
probably took me a good half an hour just to really, I had like a short list of 10. Yeah. Um, and then I thought what would make, because all these shirts here have kind of got a story behind them rather yeah. than, so I've probably got one shirt. I, you know, for this, for, exa for example, this first one, uh, it's yeah. not my favorite looking shirt, but it's just, it's got a bit of sentimental value. So I've done it all based, mostly based on what it means to me personally, if I was to be on a desert island, yeah. like not in terms of, I've got one on here that I'll have for looks and then the rest is sort of more sentimental value. So when I when I put that into into play, that was a bit easier to whittle down because um, there's only so many stories you can have about pieces of fabric, right? So, <laughs> um, but, I hope yeah, not. Yeah. There's a whole series. No, of well, yeah, I've got yeah, well, I've got four here, so that's fine. <laughs> but um, yeah, so as soon as I put it like that, because if, if it was just based on looks, I'd be here. I wouldn't be doing it right now. But I'd still be deciding. So yeah. I said it to make it a bit more about sort of me and my basically my life essentially. So yeah, I'm looking forward to kicking it off. No, that's great. I mean, we had um, Tom's footy shirts on one of the main podcasts. I think he's the last person to do Desert Island kits in its old form. Yeah, and he he was really practical. I think when it, when we asked him which one would he keep, he chose one because it'd make a good hammock. And I was like, <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, if you really want to be practical, yeah. thinking that way, that that's absolutely fine. It's definitely not yeah, just thinking no thought that. how how they look. Don't mind it. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? Was it like an old? Um... Like goalkeeper shirt or something it, from the nineties, like or like a yeah. proper a proper nineties one that would make yeah. you know, like really massive. You know what Tom's like; it was definitely colourful anyway. So yeah, yeah. But then yeah. thinking of it, his shirts, he won't be on that Desert Island too long because he'd, he'd be seen. <laughs> he'd, seen yeah. he'd definitely be spotted. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking <laughs> um, that Seaman shirt, uh, David Seaman Arsenal one. I'm thinking that. Oh That'd yeah, be quite good. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Mm. Uh, so, Ed, have you got any sort of ones just missed out? Any honourable mentions? Um. I think not really. I mean, to be honest, because of, because of my criteria, the four, these I have four here that have a sort of a story around, and the other one is based on looks. So I guess in terms of looks, probably there's a couple of England shirts that I really really like. Uh, I've got a Skulls sixteen England ninety eight. Oh nice. Which I which I nice. thought yeah, just but again, there's no story around it. But I really yeah. really like the shirt. I like Skulls because number sixteen is like. It's a really weird number for Scott. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, and it was 98, the really nice one with a massive badge in the middle. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And I thought it would be quite good to have an English shirt on there on a desert island, just in case I forget what nationality I am. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be useful trying to get home if I lose the ability to talk. Like, oh, yeah. England, England. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that one just missed out. And then uh, I've got a Venezia shirt here, but I've also got the Venezia gold one this season. Oh, the yeah. third. Um, that to yeah. me is just absolutely beautiful to look at. Um, but I've gone for another one I think is even more beautiful. So those are two that just about missed out. Fair play. As you as you can tell, I'm, I'm into my gold shirts, mate. So uh, yeah, I, yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, just before we get into it then, don't yep. forget that if it is your first time talking kit, be sure to smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Why not? It costs you absolutely nothing and you get this great content all the time. Uh, all right then, Sam, let's get into it then. So cool. your five shirts that you would take away to a desert island. Let's kick it off then. Sweet. The first shirt you'd like to talk about. I think we can see it. Yeah. Yeah, you tell us Sweet all one, about yeah. it, please. Cool. Perfect. So I'm going to go in sort of chronological order. So okay. this shirt here is obviously Portugal, 2002, 2003. Yeah. Uh, and what I love about this shirt, obviously, C. Ronaldo names it. One, C. Ronaldo. But you don't... He got rid of that very quickly because he became, <laughs> the, he became the number one Ronaldo in the world quite soon after this. Yeah. And then you have the number 11, which is very, very... You know, you associate Ronaldo with seven, right? Yeah. So, and this is at a time when him and Chris, uh, sorry, him and Ricardo Caresma were playing uh, very, very well for Portugal under 21. Yeah. And Caresma was seen as the one who was sort of better than Ronaldo at that point. So yeah. he was playing on the right, and then Cristiano Ronaldo was playing on the left. So he took the number 11 shirt, but very briefly, only in the under 21s. But yeah, and for me, this is the guy that kind of, I kind of got into football fairly late. So, Showing my age, I was born in 1994. So I kind of got into football around sort of 2001, 2002 marks. So I don't remember the World Cup 98. I don't really remember Euro 2000. Yeah. Sort of World Cup 2002, I was kind of getting into it. Brief brief story about my life. David Beckham was kind of the guy. I was like, oh, I love David Beckham. I liked him playing for England. He scored that free kick against Greece. And that was kind of yeah. sort of my first sort of memory of him. And for that reason, I liked Man United back in the day, like believe it or not. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't shout about it, but that was one of my first sort of exposure. There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely no, I, was, yeah, I thought you'd be happy with that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so he got me into it. And then when he left Manchester United, obviously his replacement was this guy. Yeah. And then 
he took the number seven shirt and he was doing things that I've never seen before with football. Yeah. You know, as a young kid, he was just what, going onto the pitch, doing these step overs. He had the white, the white ankle tape. I was fascinated by. I was like, <laughs> "What is this? Why is he wearing it? Why does it?" And when he was doing the step overs, it looked really cool. And he had the blonde yeah. highlights. So I was like, "Right, this is the guy for me." So um, to have this shirt is one of the very rare ones in his older sort of Portugal career. I just think it's really, really cool. And also, I do like the 2002 template. Um, I think it's an underrated template from Nike. But yeah, so he kind of got me into well, David Beckham. <laughs> David Beckham started me off and Chris Ronaldo finished me off, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's some way to go, mate. That's a, yeah. I, I, I agree with that template. It does get a lot of uh, flack, but I think yeah. the shirts were outstanding. United had some really nice ones in it. Mm. You think of them two Brazil ones uh, from that World Cup 2002. Yeah. I think yeah. there was some, the, the Barcelona ones as well were really nice for, from that template as yeah. well. I think, to be honest, they, they get a lot of hate because they are quite uncomfortable. Yeah, like, yeah. It's not, I don't know if you, because this is kind of the first sort of one from the noughties era and they just, they, they don't feel great. No, But no. I think they look nice. It's a really nice deep red as well, which I really like about this one. Yeah. And yeah, yeah just yeah. memories, mate. Just memories of that kid who wore the silver vapours, like white ankle tape, yeah. like <laughs> all about, all about skill, not about uh, final product no. at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. Yeah, I basically loved it. So yeah, this would be my first, it's kind of my first, one idea basically my number one pick finishing on Ronaldo obviously I, I, that name set as well was really great and I think mm. it's interesting because you said he took the number seven at Manchester United but he was going to take the number 28 when he came I don't know if you know yeah. this story yeah. and obviously Fer, Fergie's the one to give it to him and it's interesting to think if he hadn't have taken it and took 28 what number would he have ended up with mm. what would have yeah. made it would he have been famous for, for being number seven is, mm. well, is he not one really... of those? Fergie like really saw something in him. Like he was like, "No, you're gonna have number seven. You're gonna be my number one sort of yeah. right winger at the time." So, but yeah, it's interesting to think. Yeah, if he did take number twenty, would he have gone on to be? Would he? Have, would he have had the confidence? Would he have gone on to be, you know, Man United legend and then gone to Real Madrid and you know That's all the rest great. of it? So, it it's, yeah, interesting to think about. CR CR twenty eight who plays for uh, Luton. You know, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't quite have the same <laughs> ring to it, does it? <laughs> Definitely not. So there we go. Great first pick, mate, yep. in your shirts. Yeah, so let's move on then to, to right, the second. Cool. So this one's a bit. A little bit strange. So this is a Southampton shirt uh, from 2005-2006. One thing I like about this shirt is it's in brand. So it's it's yeah. not like, a, it's one of the South, I don't even know what it is. It's just got an S on it. So I'm assuming yeah. it just means South or Saints or something like that. So, uh, but it is a shirt they went down in. But obviously, again, I'm a sucker for a really old, obscure name set. So this is Gareth Bale, obviously, number, wearing number 37. Um, this is his first season. That. Yeah, so this is first first season at Southampton. First season as a professional player. I think he was 17 at this point. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I've gone for this one is one long sleeve, very, very nice, quite nice baggy fit. Uh, but also I went to university in Southampton. So wow. I kind of had a bit of affinity for Southampton for three years at least. Yeah. Uh, and one thing, if they're watching, all the guys I shared the uni house with, they knew how much I loved Gareth Bale at the time. Um, so when he went to Real Madrid, so I went to uni uh, when Gareth Bale went to Real Madrid, essentially. So that was the, the sort of first sort of exposure. My friends were like, oh, this guy loves Gareth Bale so much. And then <laughs> I bought this shirt and we, we went to a few Saints games. And I thought, yeah, I've got to get a shirt. Um, I saw this on eBay for like quite a lot, but it was student loan money. So basically I had no, in, infinite money. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, this kind of reminds me of that time I spent three years in Southampton, had a great time, met some great people. Um, and again, like similar to Ronaldo's shirt, I just love an old name set yeah. with a really obscure number. Um, yeah. I just think it makes the shirt even sort of rare or one rarer and just, I think, a bit more niche. So, yeah. Oh, and I, I do like the fact that it's a own brand as well. I think that's, you don't really see that enough anymore <laughs> for a good reason. No, but, yeah. I, I think we, we, we remember we did a full kit rankers that was in house brands. And I, I'm sure yeah. there was a half ounce one in there. I think it was an yeah. away one, though. Okay. But I think, yeah, I mean, I love that old sort of championship EFL name set. I think yeah, it worked I mean, really well. It's a lot better than the one they got now. And I think obviously, time moves on, they try and be a bit more modern and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, yeah. It's a great pick. Long sleeve as well, mate. Is yeah, is absolutely amazing. And, and obviously, before before he became the Gareth Bale, we all know at Spurs and Real Madrid. exactly. Yeah, so this was the left back version with the sort yeah. of emo haircut. <laughs> um, another, another player that Fergie wanted. Yep. As as well. So yep. you know, again, it could have been another sliding doors moment. Could he have mm. gone to United and? He may have took the number 11. I think he would have been the perfect replacement for Giggs if he had come to. Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, Fergie always rated him. Yeah, but yeah, I think Harry signed him at Spurs, obviously. Yeah. Um, and they had a great team as well. One thing I do wish this shirt did have, I wish it had the Coca Cola oh, patches on this guy. Oh, yeah. 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 But 
nah, it wasn't to be. But not, yeah. not something you'd find and, and, and attach yourself, or are you, are you against that kind of thing? Uh, no, it's, I've, I'm not against that kind of thing. But I think on a desert island, I've struggled to find anything like that. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I'll just yeah. have to leave it. That's true. Uh, That's it, won't true. My, it won't be my first thought trying to find. Yeah, probably food, shelter, and water, and then yeah. Coca-Cola patches. And then a Coca-Cola patch. Yeah, of course. Uh, mate, another another outstanding pick to be honest with you. Yeah, I can, you know, I think. You got already going down, I think, as one of the, the best collections so far. And obviously, if we're going off your next pick, I think it's going to get a lot of people interested because this, this looks yeah. like a world class pick, mate, for a world class yeah. player. So, I said to I said to you at the start of the podcast, I've got one shirt which is just purely based on looks. And for yeah. me, it's Japan 98. Um, yeah. it's just something about it, mate. I just absolutely love the flames on the sleeves. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks amazing on uh, the collar as well. I don't know if you've ever, I don't know if you've ever felt this kit. Sound like such a collector. I don't know if you felt it, <laughs> um, but, but the, the collar is really, really nice. I don't know if you guys yeah. can really see it, but it's got a really like, old school, kind of like a tennis collar. Oh yeah. Um, and then name set is obviously legendary. Um, hey. Do you know Nakata? I only found this out the other day. He retired at like twenty nine. Like was he I'm, pretty, young? yeah, yeah. Wow. He was at Rome. It was that Bolton, wasn't he? Yeah, he went to Bolton. I can't remember, yeah. He went to. I can't remember if he went from Roma to Bolton or the other way around. But he retired before he was thirty. And it's just like that's crazy. That's crazy. It is crazy. I don't really sure why. But yeah, he's obviously like um, he's just a cult hero, isn't he? He's worn some yeah, amazing massive. kits because he played for um, obviously Roma and he played for yeah. Palmer as well. Um, uh, yeah. Late nineties Palmer. It's just like he's yeah. a he's sort of a. He was good, but he was in the sort of shirt community. He's kind of become like a, a cult hero, hasn't he, really? He's just yeah. won so many amazing kits. Even the um, uh, Perugia shirts as well, in paper for Perugia. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, some uh, again, and Asics yeah. as well. I'm a big fan. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Sat- you can see subtly through the, it's like got fire sort of in. Yeah. That's why you can see that there. So, oh, yeah, okay. this is, be- I, I just, if, I have to, if I want to have one shirt to look at, just sort of hanging on a palm tree next to my hammock, <laughs> this would be that one. Because <laughs> I just absolutely love it. Yeah, I think for me, World Cup '98 was the best World Cup for kids. I think that's yeah, it. mate, a hundred, hundred percent. That one '90, yeah, yeah, so. I, I absolutely agree with you. That mm-hmm. that Japan one and the goalkeeper one as well. I mean, I mean, if you you used to wear them in 2003, 2004 in a a rock club, you know that big. The big fashion, yep. you had all the black shirts with the flames on. You'd go uh, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You'd go down. Kind of vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with them shirts. I mean, yeah, mate. That's. I think that's a lot. That must be on top of a lot of people's list. That shirt mm. and that name set. Because yeah, yeah. Again, he he is a massive cult hero without a doubt, mate. I, I mean, again, you know, we're only three in, and I, mm. you're going to be hard to beat. I think, mate. Okay, definitely. Okay. So let's well, do. Yeah. Interesting to see your, your last two. So let's get into. Yep. Your so next this one's one. a bit. This one's a bit different. This is the shirt that we wore for during the shirts versus boots. Uh, shirt hits the oh, fan, yeah. three four three um, match we did last year. Um, so yeah. we played just for a bit of context. So you guys have probably all heard of shirt hits the fan, three four three from Instagram. Yeah. Uh, we did a sort of meetup uh, charity game versus boot collectors uh, on the sort of 20, yeah fifth of June two thousand twenty one. Um, and this was a shirt they provided for us, and it's absolutely st- it's steaming. Look how amazing it is! It's, it's basically yeah. the uh, the uh, Borussia Dortmund template from '97, I believe. Uh, and yeah. they've whacked obviously classic football shirts as a sponsor. <laughs> Dougie Beardson was sponsoring it as well. Amazing. He was there. Uh, we won't talk about the result. I mean, you guys don't even care about the result. I'm sure. I do. Uh, I need to know now. <laughs> uh, we 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 yeah we they were better on us on the day. We had a bad day, but um. <laughs> Yeah, it was great. And it was, what, the reason why I bought this shirt is, well, the reason I bought this shirt along to the desert island with me is because it's the first time sort of meeting up with loads of members of the community. And it yeah. was kind of, it was 2021. So if you remember correctly, that was sort of the first summer where you're actually allowed to go out and do things. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was really, really nice to sort of meet up with everyone, um, put a name to a face because sometimes you, you see someone's uh, Instagram handle, you don't even know what they look like. And <laughs> it was really good, mate. It was a really good day. It was really, really hot. Uh, met some amazing people. Got I bagged a number seven as well. So I'm just. I've got to say, I saw it, mate. What, <laughs> like, what a number to get. Yeah, I'm definitely going to bag that. Um, <laughs> Cutting Edge shirts was there. He sponsored it as well. That was great. Nice. Um, nice. And it just, yeah, just memories, mate. Just a really, really nice day. Um, and it's a really cool template because there's a Dortmund template yeah, as well. well. It's really, really nice. Um, so I think that really works well. It just reminds me of all the times we had with those guys. Um, we we played the game this year as well with a different shirt, but we got beat again. So mm-hmm. I just thought I'd go for this one. <laughs> Slightly nicer. I, I need I need to get an invite to the next one. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I need to get involved. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, definitely. Um, no, I, I made another great pick. Like I say, it's it's nice that because like I say, some people it, it 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 all goes with 
with how you collect or, or whatever. And some people will go for the ones that look the best, the ones they like to wear. Obviously, we've got we've had episodes match worn, so that's another thing to to add into mm. it. But the fact you've kind of thought about personal feelings when you look at a shirt, what it brings back, memories and stuff, which a lot of exactly, us do yeah. with any shirt, I guess. But yeah, yeah, I mean, like, you know, a lot of people probably may not think of that in their top five, but the fact you want to take that and yeah, like, it's never me. I think at the end of the day, you're going to be bored of this desert island, right? So you kind of want something to remind you of some fun times that you had, at least. So that's going to do that for me, 100%. And, <laughs> so it, and at, my least, last one. at least on a desert island, mate, you can yeah. put it on with a coconut and you can pretend that you're winning the game. You can score <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I did miss a chance in that game, so I can <laughs> replay that in my head with a coconut. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Re Recreate it as much as you want. Brilliant, right. mate. Absolutely amazing. So, sadly, we've come to your, your, your number one. Or your your fifth pick, if you will, if you will. So, yep. yeah, I think if 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 we know you, which I'm sure a lot of people will, I think we know which shirt this could could be for you yeah, now. Yeah. But yeah, Good. introduce us to your Spoiler final right. shirt, mate. Yeah, so I've gone for Shock Horror. It's going to be the Valencia <laughs> shirt from this year. A um, couple of reasons. One, I absolutely love the design. This one has got more hate than I think it deserves. Yeah, um, because once you—I don't know if you ever got again. I don't know if you ever felt it, but it feels really, really well made. <laughs> Capra smashed it again for me. Yeah. Love the new badge. I think the new badge is really, really sick. Yeah, um, and the reason, but, but the main reason why I've got this is because I did a picture in it, and then they themselves acknowledged it and they retweeted it out and things. And that was just really, really nice to see. Just like, oh, there's me on <laughs> Valencia's like Twitter page. It's really, really bizarre. <laughs> so yeah, I don't want to say go viral, but you know, it was. It was of that nature and it was just really cool to see and just just me wearing a football shirt just managed to get a bit of traction so that'll remind me of sort of what i used to be nah i'm joking but like, yeah, <laughs> if my desert island is like oh that's sort of yeah. my success yeah. <laughs> <in a way. laughs> or if i get if i get saved by someone from venezia they'd be like oh i know you you're from the picture so <laughs> maybe that, <laughs> that could be able to help but, yeah um yeah I, what do you think about the show because i know a lot of people don't like it as much as last year's what I put it down to, I think maybe people are a little bit underwhelmed by it at first. I mm. think the success of the, not even just the last last season's home. I think it was the four, wasn't it? That just absolutely sparked this yeah. hysteria in the in the community. And I think maybe people maybe thought a little bit underwhelmed by it. But I think once you separate that, I think it is a really nice, smart, simple, simple shirt. And sometimes yeah. si simplicity works really well. I, I like I like the new crest. Maybe. You know, there's a criticism about the the Kappa logo and the badge being a little bit too high near the collar. Yeah, but I think I think once it's on, it's not as bad because obviously your chest yeah. goes out a bit, so it's not quite as bad. Um, yeah, nah. I would I would stick up for it. <laughs> I think, I think, I think it's yeah. nice, mate. And again, I, I thought when I asked you to do this, I thought that shirt's got to be in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, mate. I mean, you've yeah. picked five absolutely outstanding shirts. I'm really oh, thanks, really man. happy that you've shared them with us. If we had to, if you had to pick one to keep. I'll go for I'll go for Nakata, Nakata just because yeah. I can sell it for the most money and then hopefully get off the island. <laughs> and also, if you get if you get picked up by some emos, you'll fit right in with them, mate. Yeah, exactly. Plan, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but it'll take me back to my year eight days. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go Japan ninety eight. Mate, brilliant. Thank you yeah. so much for no, sharing you, mate. with us. It's been it's been outstanding. Um, so yeah, look out for more Desert Island kits coming on the channel very very soon. We'll have another guest. And they'll be telling us their five shirts. So they want to take away to a desert island with them. That's it from us. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, just make sure that you keep talking kit.